Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at some new cards from Yu-Gi-Oh Rush Jewels and these are part of the Materian archetype. Materian Medustar is a level 9 and light attribute cyborg fusion effect monster. It has 2800 attack and 2500 defense. The materials are an imaginary actor and an evil baller. The requirements place one monster from your graveyard on the bottom of the deck and it has a multi-choice effect. Either choose one face down spell or trap card on your opponent's field. That card cannot be activated until the end of the opponent's next turn or you can choose one face-up fiend monster on your opponent's field and destroy it. The condition on this card's summon requires two very specifically named monsters, so they have to be running multiple of these to guarantee bringing this card out. For a level 9, it's fine for having 2800 attack points, and it's a cyborg monster which is just part of the exclusive typing that is for Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Shorts. The requirement just forces you to place a monster from your graveyard, on the bottom of the deck. Yes, it becomes more difficult to get the card back, but it's a very minimal cost. And then, depending on what you need, it has one of two effects. Either you get to choose a face down spell or trap card on the opponent's field, and it locks that opponent's card from using its activation effect until the end of your opponent's next turn, so you at least have a form of protection. Or the second option is to choose a face up fiend monster that the opponent has on their field and destroy it. Arguably the second effect is more restrictive as it has to be a specific typing and unless your opponent is either running those types of monsters or you can force your opponent to become that type of monster such as through DNA surgery, there isn't really any reason for using the second effect over the first. Evil Baller is a level 4 light attribute fiend type effect monster. It has 1400 attack and 500 defense and the requirement is to reveal one light monster with 500 defense in your hand. The effect is to choose one face-up monster on your opponent's field. Its type becomes Fiend or the same as the monster revealed for this effects requirement until the end of this turn. Interesting. So with this card it's a level 4 and 1400 attack points tends to be alongside the cap for most level 4 monsters so it's probably at the higher point of attack monsters in the game so far. The requirement is just to reveal a light monster with 500 defense in your hand and as you can see if you just have another copy of this card that meets that condition or you'll most likely have other cards that do the same within their own archetype. The effect is to just choose a face-up monster on the opponent's field and its type becomes Fiend or the same as the revealed monster. Therefore this actually makes the secondary ability of the fusion monster now live without having to run very generic types of support which are probably less useful. Metarian Genus Star is a level 9 light attribute cyborg fusion effect monster. It has 2800 attack and 2500 defense and the materials are an imaginary actor and an attraction golem. The requirement if there are 10 or more cards in your deck there's a multi-choice effect. Either you get to draw one card or you, or you can choose up to 6 rock monsters in your opponent's graveyard and shuffle them into the deck then inflict 1400 damage to your opponent. The materials on this card again are very specific but if I remember correctly imaginary actor is a normal monster and the attraction golem is probably an effect monster. The requirement needs you to have 10 or more cards in your deck so it's probably better off to use this at the start of the duel rather than near at the end. And you can either choose to draw an additional card or you get to choose up to six monsters in your opponent's graveyard. They get shuffled back into the deck and your opponent takes 1400 damage to the opponent. It's curious to understand why it's up to six rock monsters in your opponent's graveyard. And unless your opponent has rock monsters or you can do something where you can adjust the monsters in their graveyard to become rock monsters, I don't see where the relevance of this card comes. Also, the 1400 damage to the opponent is quite strange. Outside of maybe saying, okay, this is half the attack points of this monster, don't understand where its relevance lies. Attraction Golem is a level 4 light attribute rock effect monster. Okay, so this is one of the fusion materials from the previous fusion. It's got 1400 attack and 500 defense. That 500 defense is quite key to the archetype. And requirement, during the turn this card is normal summoned, reveal one light normal monster with 500 defense in your hand. The effect is to send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent. The requirement, as soon as this card happens to be normal summoned, just by revealing a light normal monster with 500 defense in the hand, you're getting to send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, and then inflict 500 damage to the opponent. 500 points isn't much, but again, if you can kind of add up the life point damage through these burn effects alongside the attack damage you can do with the stronger monsters, that can hopefully work to your advantage. 
Overall, these cards are a little bit of a disappointment. I think the two fusions are okay, and the materials actually do something for the deck. But it's still quite slow, and I don't think they're necessary enough to make the deck that useful. The Materian Mudastar, I think, is my favourite out of the four, as I like the kind of clown-looking design on it. But I would say close second to that is the Evil Baller, as that's also quite relevant to how the deck likes to play. I don't think there's anything that's necessarily that bad, but it's just not that good and up to snuff. Love to hear your opinions down below in the comments section. Make sure to like the video, it really helps support the channel. And I will have another video at the end screen, which will be featuring something to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Jaws.